Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Regalia of Aochade. At least I think that's what the name is, that's my best attempt at pronouncing that word. It is a weapon of the straight sword variety that scales well in dexterity and arcane, so I am using a dexterity arcane build. I tried a few different stat allocations. The best damage output I could get was around 619 with the stats available. I tried more arcane, less dex, more dex, less arcane. Honestly, the damage output was kind of always very similar, so I just went with these stats for today. As for the moveset, they're very similar to other straight swords, the one-handed light to the horizontal slashes. It does get my preferred heavy thrusting attack, followed by the upward slash. The running light and the running heavy, also the same as most straight swords. Honestly, the only unique thing about this weapon is the Ash of War. You can choose to fully charge it for the better range, and you can roll out of the animation when you wish as well. You're not always committed to going for the final slash after the initial thrust. Or you can uncharge it as well, it'll just have less range this way. But again, you can cancel out of it whenever you wish. I plan to dual wield this for the showcase, as I find dual wield straight swords just better in general. You can two hand them to get better poise damage than the one hand version, but I don't find the one handed straight swords the best in this low poise damage. They have the same exact speed as the dual wield attacks as well. I really do like the thrust attack, I suppose, but other than that, I'm mostly dual wielding straight swords. As for my choice of talisman, I am going to use the Shard of Alexander to boost the Ash of War. We have the Claw Talisman to enhance the amazing dual jump attacks of the Straight Sword. I have the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, so if we do happen to land the Ash of War, it's going to do more damage that way, as it does raise your attack power with successive attacks. And then I have the Bull Goat Talisman to increase my poise. That's all I really have to say about the weapon, though. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, heading into our first match, we have Yopi. Hello, Yopi. How are you? Alright, Yopi, I'm ready. Bring me your katanas. Let's see what you got. Light roll? He has light roll. <laughs> Alright, I do want to create an opening for the Ash of War, so if I can just stun him for a second. There we go. <laughs> Although it didn't connect into the follow-up part of it, so there's that. Oh, I don't know how he didn't hit me there, but... Fun fight, Yopi. Give him a nice bow for the dual Melania Katanas. And we landed the Ash of War. That's a win for me. <laughs> Moving into our next battle, we have Dua Lagong. Or Duo Lagong. Hello there. Hey. How goes your day, man? Oh, I'm ready. You have no buffs. You have dual spears. Huh? Okay. Make sure my, my defense talisman is on. You have the poise to tank that. You do. But somehow... <laughs> That worked out. Okay, interesting. Oof. <laughs> well, that was a really fun fight. I don't often see two Bolt of Grand Sex, although it is very good. I think that's the first person I come across using it. In the duels, anyway. Moving into our next battle, we have Trying Heavy Thrusting Swords. Nice. Okay. That is fair. You have the Bloody Helis. Everybody loves the Bloody Helis, honestly. Which is fair, it actually is one of the cooler ones. It's Ash of War is very interesting. That's a really good Ash of War. Try to make- oh! We'll dodge the delayed jump attack. We did take a trade there. Although I think we won in the damage trade, which is nice. Let me just get rid of the blood loss here. Cause danger. <laughs> that can kind of work as a bait, to be honest. <laughs> Battle of the jump attacks is what I'm noticing here. Oh, he's actually got a reaction roll in that. Oh, we took a trade. Oh, we both missed each other. <laughs> okay, let's uh, boost the Ash of War in case we happen to land it. Which would be nice. Ooh, good rolls. Oh, I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> That's some really good range. Okay, let's go to Feathered Talisman if I have the weight load. I hope I do. Am I heavy rolling? No. Oh. Ooh, close. Oh, no. <laughs> Very fun fight, man. Honestly, that was really close. And wow, did having this talisman here ever mess up my swaps? <laughs> okay. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Preceptor Astrid. Alright, Astrid. I'm ready for you. Get some defense, because you... I don't know what your build looks like, actually. Yeah, a little bit longer of a fight is nice. Sometimes they go way too quickly. Especially when you use dual wield weapons. Like, if I'm using dual straight swords, I feel like the damage output is just so high. <laughs> oh, it is a wizard! 
<laughs> I was guessing that at first, but... Oh, jeez. Yeah, the damage output can be so high. I like your outfit, though. The antlers are cute. Heading into our next battle. Oh, it's trying heavy thrusting swords again. Hello, man. We actually had a really good fight. I'm ready. Ah, <laughs> the bait. Mixing up the running R2s is actually pretty good. With that, you gotta watch out for the range of the running R2. That's really it. And then he has to make sure to not panic roll because the dual uh, wield straight sword attacks are just so damaging. Even if he only hit with one of the, the blades, it does pretty well still. Because of the boosted... Uh, aww. <laughs> yeah. Dual straight swords are pretty tough. Moving on to our next opponent, we have... I have no idea. <laughs> All right, sir. Are we gonna edge walk at each other into dual great swords? Whoa! Okay, that was pretty cool. That was the fully charged version one too. I don't get that too often. Whoa. I ducked the claymore there. How? Like I feel bad. That was a well-deserved hit by him right there. <laughs> That's unfortunate, to be honest. Oh, and then we get to finish with the Ash of War. Nice. This actually works well out of the hit stun, I find. People either, like, dodge it a little bit too early, or they'll go for the trade, and it does well for you. Moving into our next battle, we just have Knight. Straight Knight. Just the basic Knight here. All right. <laughs> I'm ready, Knight. Ah, uh, he was ready. <laughs> Shield bash. Interesting. Something that's so nice about the aesthetic of the basic knight. <laughs> I was debating going for a backstab there. Ooh, okay, well. We may as well boost our Ash of War then. <laughs> I thought it might come back and chip him. It did not. Ooh, going for the stance. Nice, I like that. <laughs> okay, we took a trade there. It was, it was a decent trade, not the worst. Ooh, that was close though. Very fun fight, Knight. I do like the Knight armor in this game. Our next opponent is Mudkip, PL139. Hello, Mudkip. How are you? All right, so we have a Claymore buff. I don't know why I didn't roll that at all. That was my own fault. I hit circle, but I swear it just input red. Nice! He has the poise to tank one of them. Noted. So he's going dual straight swords here? I guess. Dual straight swords. <laughs> they have Scarlet Rod as well. Whoop. Close though. That was close spacing. Ooh. Very fun fight though, man. Very good spacing. Also good use of the, the dual straight swords that you swapped to. Those are the Scarlet Rot ones, yeah. Our next opponent is Samuro. Samuro. <laughs> I like the snap. All right, let's go. What do we got? Um, Actually, let me just throw on my ritual shield talisman real quick. Oh. Okay, I'll let you buff. I'm ready. You were trying to interrupt my buff. Dishonest. <laughs> you get the backstab for that. And then that as well. You get that as well. <laughs> the blood explosion. Ooh. I get hit by your ultra sword, but it's okay. Because I backstab it. Hmm. I'm surprised that second backstab actually worked. But, I'll take it. Fun fight, man. Heading into our final battle, we have Lazarus. Alright, Lazarus. What do we got? A Nagakiba? Yes. So maybe, perhaps, a dex build. Hit me out of the air. <laughs> okay. 
I do want to try to land the ash. Ooh, that caught me off guard. That had some range to it. That had some damage to it. <laughs> yeah, Piercing Fang can be nice for that one reason, I guess. Or two. Really good fight, though. Really a good Piercing Fang out of nowhere. Covers some great distance. Really wasn't expecting it. Also, the Naga Kiba has really good range, I suppose, too. So, they pair well together. Alright, moving into our first invasion. We've invaded Awan. Awan. And I see them. Can I just jump down here? I think I can. I will strategically use my physic flask. <laughs> oh no, I have the lightning physic in, I think. Oh, that's that's fun. Hello, guys. Moon veil. Two veil? Is there two moon veils here? Find out. <laughs> that would have been a better time to moon veil, actually. Smack. Oh, I missed. Thankfully, they didn't continue that because that would have been bad for me. He likes his fire pods a lot. Oh, jeez. Honestly, you'd be doing a lot better if you were using that than the fire pod. I don't quite get the, <laughs> the want for the fire pod use. Oh, I feel like I'm like cutting the hairs off their chin with that. <laughs> that did not do much damage. But we will get the finish with it. <laughs> Alright, bro. I didn't know I had the Shard of Alexander on. One teamwork though, guys. You should have you should have moon veiled me more though, honestly. The pots weren't the best play. Moving into the next invasion, I see a Luna. Hello there, hosty. Oh god, hosty. Oh, oh no, Luna. That's <laughs> Scarlet Rot. All right, guys. Tank, new game plus. You wanna, you wanna have a duel? You guys can just attack me. I kind of attacked right away. Attack me. It's fair. Come after me. Yes. Nice. There you go. Get in on this. Why are we so kind? You're being way too kind. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Get in on the gank. Yes, yes. I like it. <laughs> uh, no. I don't like that though, sir. <laughs> no random blasted AoEs at me. Uh oh. Oh, you can, okay. You can time roll that and not get too stunned. I do take some AoE damage from it, but ah, that's fine. Okay, I guess if it works once, why not keep doing it, right? That's the mindset. <laughs> it's not gonna work again. Here, take some of this. Slash, oh, you should've come in for the punish and you know got hit by my Ash of War. Jane Frost summoned. <laughs> Is it a blue or did you grab a summon sign? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, it was a blue. Hello, blue. Wait, I want to knock you off. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Heading into the final invasion, we have 777. You silly. Yosh. We're both do wield fighting here, but you know, straight swords feel like they may be the better one. Fists? Okay. I can like that. <laughs> yeah, dual straight swords can be pretty aggressive. The wall there kind of ruined your spacing, yeah. 
Very fun fight though, Yosh. Um, wait, are you the host? Hang on, I'll give you a bow regardless. I don't know where your host is though. He kind of just left you. Oh, where were you? Triple seven, where were you? Hey. Hello. Hey. I, I still didn't change my physics flask. <laughs> <laughs> what is going oh it's because you're a bleed build huh oh, that makes sense I was like he's going for a lot of trades here but my bleed build was was going up there pretty high fun fight though 777 you guys were so separated though all right those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase once again there's my stats on the right the armor that I enjoy wearing the talismans that I utilize throughout the showcase and of course keep commenting other weapons builds and ashes of war you'd like to see below I'm kind of cruising through the weapon showcases at the moment so who knows we could be completed very soon until the next video I will see you guys all next time thanks so much for the input goodbye goodbye